Hey up, I am Phil and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Let's get started, shall we? So I'm thinking this episode we are going to be focusing, well, uh, as what we've been trying to focus on with previous episodes, uh, finishing off some of our growing zones, so that's the second sun lamp and also probably the third, not sure if we'll fit it in. And then once we do that, probably more power, which I have a feeling we can just sort of start to slot against the back wall here. I don't know, we'll see what happens anyhow. Let's speed things up and wait until the morning to see where we're at. Okay, well, it seems roughly like, just taking a look at things, we're getting all the works being done. We don't have any people idle, uh, apart from when Toxo actually gets out of bed. We actually do have a fairly... That's actually a good supply of meals, com uh, considering how poorly we've been going on previous times. So, and 114 pemmican. No issues there, everyone should have food to eat, and the coolers should be keeping things nice and frozen. Yep, minus five degrees in the in the pantry. Well, it's pe technically a pantry, I don't think, it, don't think it gets kept that cold, but still, that's our, what our pantry is doing. And even just the f general food storage is five degrees as well. Interestingly enough, we're actually storing kibble in this room. Ah, okay. Let's take a look. Freckles. What do... What do the animals have access to? Area 1. Okay, it does include the kibble storage. Okay, that's fine. I don't think kibble even needs to be stored in the freezer. Good thing is, I think perhaps I just ate some of the kibble. So it is working quite well. Now, just checking over the, the foods as well. Just seeing if we've got more food ready to be taken to the stockpile. So I think we're just a, we're going to run out of meat soon. So, let's see. We've got hops... Uh, Hops are what, 60 and 40, so about halfway done. I think most of the hill route will take, as usual, forever. And uh, we're still having issues with power as well. And also, since the outside is quite cold, 7 degrees Celsius, the rice the, um, the rice isn't growing fast enough. But at least these potatoes will continue to grow. Unless we can, well, as long as we can uh, continuously provide it with more power. Now, oh, cool. The outside zone has been done. So what I wanted to see, so time to build a wall right around it. Oh, and I won't be able to see the ed edge, will I? How about if we mark growing zone? Can I see the zone? Oh, just. Okay. Let's build the wall right around. Too easy. That's what we're going to do, and I suspect instead of having a rice zone, we'll move these... Uh, uh, instead of having a, another potato zone, we're going to move the rice into our inside area here. Let's see if I can spot you corn and rice plants so that will be our second growing zone that should provide us with uh, good food all year round and I think for the time being I'll leave the this rice patch here hopefully enough of it grows that we'll be able to you know harvest it I suspect not given the temperature multiplier is certainly hurting how long it will take to get all this done anyhow let's keep things moving along and make sure people are actually doing work now, interestingly enough, Trado, Legu, and Val are doing all, all doing research. Now, I appreciate that, guys, but maybe there's something else we can get you to do. So, Trado, you're a cook. Right, there isn't any more food to cook, is there? And that said, when it comes to construction... Ah, construction's on a 2. I think it might be worth to drop the research down to a 3. That should help out, so that's in line with growing, planting, and... Yep. Actually, no way, down to a four. There are better things. I think Val is perfectly fine to do research, researching by themselves right now. Uh, and Val was the only person I have missed. Who was the other one? I think it was Legu. So let's take a look at the listings. You are on repair mining, which of course there isn't much to do in this colony. And hauling and then research. Well, I think we can drop the research down to a four. Same, so exactly the same as Trado. And yeah, it should do some more hauling and cleaning. Should keep our colony looking quite nice. And lucky us, we've got a, a few visitors that are coming to possibly do a bit of trading. Don't know whether or not we will trade with them, because uh, we did miss uh, the, what was it, one of the previous uh, traders that came through uh, in the last episode. But, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Hmm, minus seven outside. Yeah, these plants will probably start dying off. Hey, awesome. Microelectronic basics. Uh, this is certainly taking quite a while for us to get here, but we're slowly making it. And I think, of course, it is now time to get the electric crematorium. I believe that will help us get rid of the bodies, and especially with more raids that are likely to come. 
it's yeah be the be best thing for us to do so electric crematorium away so a lot more research to get done but I don't think there's any issues there so more solar panels is what I think we'll be working on next so make sure to clear expand a no roof zone just so they don't roof this area here this is meant to be completely outside just make sure to encourage them not to roof it or anything so then we'll move back on to where's the power power solar panels and I suspect yep we've got enough space to fit these solar panels along the back wall because these wind turbines aren't taking up too much space oh but the traders are leaving right now maybe I can quickly get someone to chat to them Kanga you probably don't have very good skills in chatting do you uh, social you're incapable of that right choosing the best person to do this um, maybe I can quickly grab Val depends you've still got a bit of a distance to walk to chat to Andrus, the defector. All right, I'll get you over there. See if we can do it in time. Possibly. Yep, we did. Because they walled off. Oh, uh, our columns walled them in. Oh well. I'm gonna go for listings and see what we can find. Okay, I suspect that's what we're gonna do. So we are going to buy. Oh, sell a bit of a beer. Some of the beer off, and just sell most uh, some of the weapons and some of the poor clothing, as we've done in many of the previous trades. Something interesting. We actually have uh, some hair leather pants, masterwork quality. Now that is really quite impressive. Also worth quite a lot. Five hundred. Not that we plan to sell it anytime soon, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, traders don't have enough money. All right. Now well, that's a pretty simple thing to fix up. Um, we want to buy anything? Nah. We'll just reduce how much we're selling, I guess. Oh, could have checked that off a little um, earlier. Uh, don't want to get rid of that short bow. Where was it? I think this will push us. Yeah, that will be fine. Okay, accept that and continue on from there. And this is finally roofed. Yep, we get to the last area of sparkles. Awesome. Now I realise this may be a bit of an inconvenience when people need to walk around because there's no space to walk here. So guess their simple thing will be to flag. Guess we can flag a bit more to be mined out. Just this corner section. Actually, let's mine out even more than that. We've got the uh, workers capable of it. So see if we can make it so sort of like maybe at least like a two wide in some areas. And nice and wide, just make it easy to get through. Yep, yeah, that should be fine. No issues there. That said, there is some steel here, and I believe we're starting to run low on steel. Quote unquote low. 800's not too low. That said, I could use it very fast. So there's no harm in letting this be flagged. Yep, I'm happy with that, and of course people are starting to do the mining. Awesome. Now this area is now completely dark, and I guess these trees will also be chopped down sometime soon. Yep. Ah, because these trees weren't fully grown, we didn't get any wood from it. Well, that's a little bit of a disappointment. It's not the end of the world, of course. Now, these two zones are sitting right next to each other, and that leaves me to wonder whether or not I can just put a vent, just so I don't have to put a heater in every room. Hmm, thought. Okay, how about I build a copy, we'll place it in this room, uh, as we've done with the previous, door, uh, previous growing patch. Uh, mark this tree to be chopped, and what else do we need to do? I think I'll leave it there, that should be fine. And then continue on in building solar panels and wind turbines. Yeah, that's going to be a, a good, uh, the best way to deal with this. Yep. Okay, let's continue with this. So we're looking to build a solar panel along this wall here. Now we have right up to the edge of the patch, and... Yeah, that would be right. We don't actually have space to put two, two uh, solar panels side by side. So I guess we're going to have to avoid that. And we can just place it sort of roughly in the centre. Leave a bit of space for people to walk around. So something like that. Group of two should be fine. Don't think I want to block that entrance. And that will be... That should just provide us enough power. <sighs> okay. Lagu is being attacked by Awag. Where are you? Oh, you're all the way around there. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Do you have a melee weapon and a personal shield? A personal shield won't save you from a melee attack from a wag. Legu, you are fleeing 
over that way, well that's in the direction of the WAG itself. Uh, you won't have the speed to run, so how are you going to manage this? Hopefully, uh, possibly if Legu becomes the master of the two animals, the two animals can get there faster than the humans can. Yes, I think that would be a good way of try uh, dealing with this, uh, at least hoping we can save Legu in time. So, uh, Prancer will become Legu's master. Yeah, and Freckle's master will become Legu once again. So both of them should come around and try and help Legu. I'm hoping this works. And obviously I'll grab a couple of people to get around there as fast as possible. So we'll get you over here to melee attack Orange. Uh, Falcon, where are you? Get the machine pistol. Part of me wants to break through this wall just so we can get to them faster. Though I suspect that's still just as difficult. Okay, let's mark that decon to be deconstructed and get Falcon to work on that. And maybe grab a couple of other people to sit by that entrance. Probably just you three should be... Oh, three should be fine. So I'll get you over there and see if this is enough. And Legu, you are still trying to run away, aren't you? So I'm going to let you do a few attacks and hopefully Falcon can, can get over there. Come guys, speed up. Legu may not make it. Falcon, you've got to do your job better. Get over there, start deconstructing. So this WAG has certainly taken a few, a few hits. It is nearly down to half health, but so is Legu, our warrior. And they're not looking too um, too fresh right now. Oh, Falcon, awesome. Come on, get outside and start helping. Start firing. You need a hit. Ah. Well, that'd be right. So, Legu has been torn to death. Oh, sorry, Legu, there wasn't much I could do there. I must say that it's somewhat frustrating, these wild animal attacks just killing us without too much thought. But that, of course, is now our second death in this colony. And I guess that might save on a few meals here and there. Now, is Orange still coming around? Orange is still coming around, and yep. The WAG is down. Good. Falcon, keep on firing at the WAG, and I'll actually unrecruit you too. You can do something else for the time being, and Orange, unrecruit you as well. Ah, poor Legu. Remember to strip you, just because we don't want to waste your body. Uh, waste your clothes, sorry and your body will be entombed in, hopefully, a good quality sarcophagus. Now, do we have the marble to use? Let's see, that's 18 marble blocks, and building a copy costs uh, 60. So, yes, we have enough blocks. So, they'll be placed uh, side by side, like this. So, who are we going to get to construct this? It needs to be someone with good crafting skill, just so we can get high quality uh, sarcophagi. So Sparkles seems to be the person I might want to grab. Uh, 16 out of 20 uh, seems to be one of the highest levels in this colony. I believe crafting? No, it's not crafting. It's construction. Construction of 14 out of 20, and I believe that it looks like it's the highest one anyhow. So yeah, Sparkles, I'm going to get you over there and constructing it ASAP. Then we can quickly drop the body in, get some of the positive moodlets, and people should be, well, not necessarily happy, but better off than they were originally. And thanks to the death. Uh, oh, Foot, you still recruited? Oops, I meant to let you go. Same with you, Falcon. I wonder, can you haul it in? You can. Awesome. And Foo, I would love it if you could probably just patch this wall back in. Like so. Work on the blueprint, and that's all the wood. Oh, we needed one more block of wood. That would be right. And whereabouts are you walking? Okay, that's a interesting path to navigate to the wood storage. You could have gone through the doors down here. Uh, okay, well I don't get I get get these columnists at times. And yet someone will haul in uh, Legu. Actually, I wonder, Fu, can you haul Legu now? Yeah, you can. Probably should have got you to do that first, because now you have to take the long way to walk around and do it. But Legu, of course, will be buried in the marble sarcophagus. I did tell you... I've only told you a haul. I'd rather you... Bury? Strip. Ah, oh, the, all the items are then outside in a very hard-to-access place, which would be right. Okay, well, I'll let you strip, and then we'll get you to bury. And then someone else can and then haul these... Muffalo pants, and... Uh, Sorry, Muffalo Leather Parker and Cloth Chuke and Elk Hide Tribal Wear inside. Also the Personal Shield, I don't want to lose that. Because that's still very useful. Kanga, can we get you out there to haul in the shield? 
Yeah, because that's one thing I don't want to lose if possible. Uh, poor Legger. Nothing much I could do there. So this sarcophagus, it's only normal quality, it's not the best, but it does, uh, I believe it is a piece of art. So, the sarcophagus bears a betrayal of Legu Ostrich, smacking Matthew Minchin, Mincher, while capturing him with professional efficiency. Legu is slapping Matthew to subdue him. The smiling head of a dentist, a dentist, watches over all. The work has a heartfelt feeling and a very static structure. The depiction relates to the capture of Matthew on the 2nd of summer, 5501. So I believe that was the person that we had, our, our last um, captive actually. Yeah, because we had to release them because they were 99% difficult difficulty. Ooh, sparkles, you got food poisoning from hu 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 human meat? Why are you eating human meat? I thought I was very careful about that. Do you have any bad moodlets? Cannibalism? Oh, 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 that's fine. Raw cannibalism, right. You actually like that. I forgot we had a cannibal in in, admi in our amidst. <laughs> trying to say that right. Now, cool thing is we have a couple of solar panels up. I need to link them up together because this one has access to the network, but this one doesn't. So it's a single link there. And when we construct this one, that will also be connected to the network. That said, I don't think there's any harm in making sort of a bit of a loop for redundancy's sake. Probably keep us a lot safer. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. That should keep things going, and we should have... I wanted to say a net gain of power, but that's a net loss currently. Probably because it's, yeah, getting to night time, so we're only so far relying on these wind turbines, which is not enough. Oh. Hmm, I might want to move these and juggle them around just so we can sort of overlap them. Sort of be as efficient with the space as we can. Oh. What's this? More cargo pods. Right, we're getting very lucky. Too many cargo pods at times. But this is artillery shells. Okay. We'll let someone haul them in. Assuming people are not restricted. Yeah, they're not restricted. And, oh, Tradery has an alcohol binge because you're in a moderate amount of pain. I wonder, there isn't anything we could do about that, is there? No, only stab scars, which, unless you replace the body part itself, has to be ignored. But I don't think you ever actually drank any alcohol, which is interesting, because, yeah, we have plenty in this colony, <laughs> especially with all these barrels producing beer, which I do eventually want to get around to building a few more copies and filling this entire area out, like so. There we go. It's going to be a waste of steel, uh, I suspect, yeah, probably about half... Half of our steel has been used. Oh, I need to build one more copy. There we go. But it will be worth it. It will give us a lot of um, materials to use. Yeah, it will give us a lot of beer to start brewing and stuff. Not, why, not sure why I said materials. I was probably thinking about um, some of the mining work that we're doing before. Okay, interesting. We may actually be able to substitute Legu after all. Or Lega. A civil servant named Tanya? Uh, Tana Taya Drake calls you from nearby. She's being chased by the tribes people of Senra Lax Tokos. She begs for safety and offers to join you colony. Biologically, she is 48 years old. Be warned if you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribes people on her tail. Hell, why not? This will be relatively simple to deal with. Offer safety. So, Taya, what are you good at? You're a clerk. So, I'm going to assume that your social skills, when my mouse stops bugging out, a, a relatively good character social. Yep, that makes sense, because you're a civil servant. Now, that means since you're a white-collar worker, you're incapable of blue-collar blue work. E.g., you can't do any dumb labour. That said, you do have passion in medicine and animal handling. Now, I can't recall what leg you had off the top of my head, but I think you'll be a fine substitute for her for the time being until I start complaining that you're incapable of hauling. Now, your traits. You really hate men. You're aesthetic. Okay. She dislikes fancy food and prefers to eat raw food. Okay. And you have an annoying voice. So people tend to dislike you. Well, not the best. So hopefully we can... There, that doesn't leave us um, too much to worry about. And here comes a raid and a relationship with the raid. Okay. Well, let's... 
make sure to restrict everyone and I'm going to read those messages just to see who is well who's who at the moment so area one make sure it's all in sign keep people safe and take a look so within the raid we have a relationship between warrior Trogo, Trogo, who is the niece of Falcon and the warrior Black who is the brother of Kanga okay that's going to be interesting Kanga can get your brother black, so we should see that in the social list. A social list, black choco. Hmm. Okay. Hostile. Black has a neutral opinion of you. That said, you might get a negative mood let if um, we kill black. So maybe we can try and avoid that, or even capturing. You know, it's always good to have a few relationships within the colony. Love to see how um, how things could progress in the, uh, progress in the future, but. We need to deal with this raid. So they're coming from the right, and oh wow, that's actually a few people. Hmm, that's actually probably one of the biggest raids we've had, or, or um, are having right now. So, Taya, what can we give you? You've got some passion for shooting, though you're hopeless, and melee, you are hopeless. Right, so that's a great substitute for Lega. See, I'm always going to complain sometime or later. So, when it comes to weapon, okay, you're grabbing clothes first, that's fine. Okay, I'll let you grab the clothes first and work it out, but everyone needs to be recruited. So, everyone apart from Toxu can't fight, which is typical. Uh, and we'll get them over here and see what we can get them to do. Hopefully you have enough time. I suspect we will. Okay, start ordering everyone. So, Fu. Uh, you've got EMP grenades, do we need them? No, we don't. No one has shields. We'd rather have someone... Uh, if we had grenades, I wouldn't actually mind. Just sanded grenades. Stock sanded ones. I don't think we'd do. So we're going to give you a different weapon. Probably another range weapon. So how about the heavy SMG? As long as you don't shoot anyone in the back. No, 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 no. Go for the pistol. We know you've used the pistol before and you've been fine with that. And Val, you got the charge rifle, so on the edge like normal, because you want to keep you safe. Pillar here, um, what's that? A machine pistol that over here, Trado, which is melee, so on the outside edges. Same with Orange, who has another uh, personal shield. Interesting. We might want to place them just along the edges. How much time do we have? Okay, we've still got a bit of time, not much though. Uh, who else is to come? Kanga, you're still coming up, so Pillar will get you along the front lines. Toxo, you're doing other work. Fu, we can get you back onto the front lines as well. They shoot in the center. Bauer has a survival rifle, so survival rifle, so we'll put you behind everyone else. So, oops, I want you to go here. I'm not trying to rest Kanga. I think we're going to be fine. And Taya is just about in, and that is everyone. Awesome. There's a lot of people to deal with, though. So, where are people going? Solar power generators, sandstone. Okay, sandstone wall, interesting. Um, so far, wooden walls, yeah, I'm not too keen on that one. I was hoping people would come through the main entrance, but no. I'm deciding to attack wooden, our actual outside walls. And sandstone, ba uh, sandstone, sand bags. Okay, that's not th nothing too much to worry about so far. A lot of people are deciding to come in. So we'll just have to see how things go. So, Taya, yeah, you're still taking your time to grab the clothes, speed things up, and see how this all progresses. And you guys should be attacking a wall, shouldn't you? Um, you're taking wooden doors? No, you're not. Oh, this it doesn't look great. Okay, that's one person down. Onto the second person. They're down. No issues there. Continue firing. Yeah, these trust people are really not much of a challenge. No issues at all. Now, Taya, what have you got? You are wearing clothing, you're wearing a personal shield, and what are you doing now? You're just about to take some human meat. Taking human meat. Right, I probably never adjusted your work priorities, did I? No. Okay, let's do that right away then. Patient, yes. Doctoring. I think there is certainly no harm to have a second doctor in this colony. Bed rest. Flicking. Wardening will be a yes. It's always good to have a second of everything in this colony. Handling, I think we'll turn off the time being. Even though you have a very strong passion for it. Cooking. We don't want you to poison people, so that's going to stay off. Arting, or artwork, I think we'll turn that one off, and research will be your other priority. 
Yeah, that really doesn't mean you're doing much, does it? Mm. We can't get you to do plant cutting either. Okay, we have to turn something else on. Even though you're incapable of uh, repairing things, we're going to turn that on. And construction will stay off. Hunting? No, that has to stay off as well. Actually, you're not really that good. Unless we get you to do full-time arting or full-time research. That's that's pretty much it. Well, that's somewhat disappointing. Okay, well, let's get back on to the actual raid. Okay, they are getting a little closer. What happened? I didn't suspect they were that close. Orange, come in and attack Raven the Gatherer. Yep, they're dealt with. Then back on, back out to the outside now. Oop, and get Trado just over here to a, a melee attack. Legu. Wow, that is a bit of a flashback, isn't it, for some of these colonists? Yep, they're dealt with. Who else is yet to come down? Okay, there are still quite a few people entering the base. I'm not keen on that. Let's see. Let's see if we can grab Trado and get them to melee attack. Barra, the tender. Oop, Kanga has been hit, though. It is a great bow, 31 out of 40 damage, uh, total health, so we're still fine there. And yeah, we'll let you continue attacking each other, which I'm surprised, Trado, you have a knife, so Barra shouldn't be able to do anything to you. Cut with a shiv route. You're not hitting them very hard, are you? Okay, I'll let things continue moving on, and hey, too easy. You guys keep them firing, move Trader out of the way. And no issues there. And... Yep, the rest of them escaped. That's not an issue, and Black is still alive. Black was, of course, one of the... Was it the, the brother of Kanga? Hope I remember that correctly. Um... Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're going to let these people go. Because they're going to escape, and we need to put out the fires, and of course do unrestricted people. We just keep them within the home zone for the time being. This will be the best thing for them. And of course people will need to be patched up. So how much damage did we actually take on our colonists? Uh, when I take a look at the listings I see a few cuts and bruises on Trader, which you knew about. Uh, a cut from a great bow on Kanga and a stab from a pillar from Val, which I'm assuming was one of our own colonists. Possibly. Fu has also taken a stab from a spear, and that's it. So, hopefully doctoring gets done sometime soon, and also putting out the fire, because that's a big thing. Yeah, I suspect that it's probably better to remove these potato plants, because they're really not growing outside very well, considering it is now zero degrees outside. Hmm, yep, that's not going too well, is it? Okay, so, people will be putting out the fires, yes? Awesome. And hopefully we can get someone to patch up Kanga ASAP. You know, this is around the time where I'm tempted to sort of change the, the numbers a little bit. Like maybe move um, Kanga down to a 2, just so doctoring and patienting happens first. Uh, yeah, something like that. Because I really want doctoring to happen now. With Trado. Try it again. You're going to change Shimpem again. No, you're not. You're going to treat Kanga. And then we're going to get you to treat everyone else, and then someone else will treat you, Trader, because you've, of course, taken a little bit of damage. But I suspect we'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think... I'm possible that we might get a few burns here and there. Uh, what, what just happened just then? Did someone catch on fire? Possibly. Because we just slowed down. Unless there's a danger of some sort that I'm not seeing. Hmm, okay. Looks like we're fine, but hopefully these bodies don't burn. I'd rather that we could strip them and, you know, keep the items. Actually, guys, can we get you to go inside and extinguish the fire? Let's see. Extinguish this side of the fire. Fu will get you over here to extinguish that bit of fire. And, yeah. Keep the bodies and just stop it from spreading over to the other walls. Fu, sorry. One last time. You need to do the left side of the wall. You need to, yeah, put out that fire and keep them going. Yeah, so I suspect some of this will burn down. Actually, how close are these potato plants? Yeah, they're not close at all. We're going to delete the zones. No reason to keep them anymore. People will continue to try and put out the fire. I don't have an issue with that. And, oh, Taya is on fire. No. Uh, you get a few burns. Can we get someone to help put you out, like um, Val, for example? Yeah, because Taya, Taya is not very happy right now, and Taya needs to walk closer to Val. There we go. Okay, so you've taken a few more burns than I would have liked, 
but I think you'll be fine. Hopefully no infections, because that is also always an issue. And even Orange took a, a, a few burns. Did Orange take burns just then? It looked like you did. Uh, grab Orange. Orange, where are you? You are on the right. So, yeah, you did take a minor burn. Okay, can we start putting out the fire in the center, preferably? I know you guys are running left and right to put out fire. And who else is on fire? Oh, Sparkles, you're on fire. All right, let's grab someone and help put you out. You need to click on someone first. You, uh, Sparkles, oh uh, wait. Who did I select? I don't know. Sparkles is out, that's fine. Okay, so we might have lost a few bodies just then, and obviously a few pieces of clothing and items. And, of course, also the beer. I would have liked to have kept the beer. That would have been nice, but nah. I think we'll just mark all these bodies to be stripped. It means all the clothing be dropped around, and we need to replace the walls. Which is a good thing. Because they were wooden, and they needed to go. Well, that didn't go too badly, and we've essentially placed, um... Like you as well, with uh, Taya. Of course, is taking a little bit of an injury. So, Kangoo, you are patching people up. Whereabouts are you? Okay, you're going down to grab medicine. Awesome. I think I might want to move the medicine a little closer. Maybe keep a stockpile there. Yeah, I suspect that might be a better thing to do. Because it is an awful long way to walk. Especially through all these slow doors. Slow wooden doors, I should add. Yeah, food's being treated. Yep, no issues there. Yeah, everyone's being... Um, everyone's getting fully healed. Awesome. So I'd love to see. And we knew it was going to happen. An infection with Val. Val oh, Val. Yeah. Been trying to make sure that Val doesn't get infections given her the age. Okay, so Kanga, whereabouts are you? You are hauling people. No, you're not. You're going to go and treat oh, Val's reserved by trader. Fair enough. We're going to let you do whatever you're doing. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're rearming the trap. I thought for a second you'd picked up the body and started eating it, but I think Falcon. Actually, is Falcon doing that? No, you're not. People should be stripping them, or maybe... Okay, fair enough. So people are actually rearming the traps before they do any calling or actual stripping of the bodies themselves. Okay, that's just something to keep a note for next time. But Val has been treated, yes. And Trado still needs to be uh, treated. So, Kanga, can we get you up there? I think we can. Actually, let you finish cooking the meal first, and then we get you to treat. Hopefully we don't get any other infections. Still might be a possibility. So yep, yeah, you've been treated awesome. Phew. Well, that didn't go too badly. And we've sort of sorted out our power issues as well with uh, just a whole set of solar panels. Which I suspect used... Um, no, we haven't dropped below 400 to steel. Which is good to see. But we're going to leave it here for this episode because of course we've passed the 30 minute mark. So, uh, as, I, as I've said many times before, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. So, as I've said in the past, and we'll say in the future. I'll see you around sometime.